We did a trip in a class B, like, uh, I don't know about this. You're not really very familiar with them, but you are obviously an expert on this. Yeah. I am not a fan of a cassette toilet. You're probably wondering where you're gonna sleep back here. There's only four people, three dealers, and then you guys. And this is the first time that I think anybody has seen it out there. One of the big movements in the RV industry is the class B segment. And we are here with Josh from Coachman. It's a very special RV here. This is the Galleria. It's one of the top class Bs in the industry. You're the resident expert. People are going to want to hear why this gallery, what, what have you done in this unit that makes it so unique? We're at the 2024 Hershey RV show. This is a 2025 Galleria. This is 2025. And this is the first time that I think anybody has seen it out there. You said we're only the fourth person to see this. Yeah, so this Arctic White's been around since we came on. This is our flagship brand. Galleria is what we first came into the, ind the B-Van industry with. This exterior color has been around for quite some time, but we go inside. There's only four people, three dealers, and then you guys that have seen this product in the interior. <laughs> so it's brand new. We'd love your feedback. Let us yeah. know. This is on a Mercedes chassis. What size chassis? chassis is this? This is a 170 inch extended wheelbase chassis, so 24 feet overall. So you're gonna get a ton of space inside. We have a ton of storage in the back. And we'll show that as we come back around here, we'll open these back doors. Now, full body paint on this, blacked out wheels. I see you guys did the running boards throughout. So everything looks really nice and neat. What do you know about what size awning that is? Gerard awning, I see it has the LED lights. It's a 13 foot awning when, it, when it's fully extended. Some of the things we do different out here. So you may see some of the Mercedes vans out here where they have this black plastic cladding that's not painted. We send our vans off to Mercedes and we actually have Mercedes paint it. This paint that's along this black plastic cladding here, this trim piece, is the same paint that Mercedes paints their vans with. So if you have any issues with your van, with the paint down there, you can send that back to Mercedes and they can get it painted to the exact spec. I also see you have the rear sensors, the parking sensors, 5,000 pound hitch, which is nice on something like this. Now, you showed us something special on the back here. Number one, you have sumo springs. This is already from the factory installed with sumo springs. So somebody doesn't have to do that in terms of warranty. Right. What do sumo springs do for people that out there have no idea like what I'm talking about? Just gives you a little bit better ride quality going down the road. You're not gonna get as much sway. You're not gonna get as much bounce going down the road. Just better ride quality overall. Yeah, so you showed us before off camera, the back of this unit, what, this is a little bit different, something you guys do that other people in the industry don't do. Yeah, so when we talk about storage, we talk about the 170 inch extended wheelbase. What we don't do is we leave this space open for storage. B-Vans, they can be tiny space, so you need to have as much space as you possibly can. Everything underneath here is open for storage, and then we don't block off the front. So if you need to put golf clubs, skis, a 10 foot flagpole, two by fours, whatever you need, you can run that all the way through so you have a ton of storage space in here. So you have two different screens back here as well. So if you are on a beautiful day like this, you don't want to run your AC, you just want to have your max air fan going inside, you can pull this screen down here and you have a screen back here, you have a screen up front. So you have draft going through, you have an air and you can still enjoy the day. 30 amp coach, now this comes with different battery packages. This is the standard package, but if you want to talk about the different options, depending on how much you want to spend, what is available on something like this? Yeah, so we have four different options and I do want to come back to this 30 amp plug. It's a smart plug, we got it from the marine industry. What's different about this is you'll see it's not going to screw around there. So it's going to latch on there. So it has two latching pieces. It's going to clamp around here. It's going to seal it. So you're not going to get any water intrusion. These connectors are they're going to be squared off. So you're going to get a better electrical connection there. And then if you have any bad electricity, it kind of acts as a almost like a surge protector. If there's any bad electricity coming from the uh, shore plower plug in, it'll cut it off and it'll turn orange. So if it's orange, it's bad. If it's blue, it's good. Awesome. We do have four different battery options. So we have a 330 amp AGM battery that comes with a propane generator on here. That's the standard. That's the standard. So you get that standard no matter what. Then you can upgrade to a 310 amp hour lithium battery. Comes with a 2000 watt Xantrax inverter. Or you can do our full lithium package. It's gonna come with a 280 amp hour alternator. Second alternator that's dedicated towards a 640 amp hour lithium battery from Lithionics or you can do dual lithium and that bumps up to 1280. So you get two 640 amp hour batteries. And one of the big things is we don't take those batteries and put them outside, we keep them inside. So anytime you're using your coach, it's the same temperature of your coach. So we, we have 600 amp hours lithium on our motor home. We're staying kind of uh, no hookups. Last night we went to sleep with what, 80%. We woke up with like 75%. Yeah. It's great. And that's a big motor home that's hungry. This is a lot, a lot more efficient. It's small, it's more efficient. And I mean, you're gonna get a lot of life out of that battery time. And then if you ever have to, fire your battery back up and you're dry camping you don't have plug-ins you can fire Turn up our coach, coach 
Yep, and it actually it doesn't idle at high idle at like 1400 RPMs. It idles between 900 and 1000 RPMs. So if you're in a campground that says, hey, you can't idle at high idle, you can idle this, you can get that charge back up and continue about your day. And then when you go to that lithium package, you do lose those generators. So the propane generator actually comes off the coach, so you no longer have a generator on board. The only thing that you'll need for need propane for is the HVA system, HVAC system inside the van, the Truma Combi. One thing I like, it's high end. So everything is molded into the body. I see some hinges here, I'm assuming that's your dumps so you can see all the dumps are right here they're nicely labeled and that is a macerating pump correct yep so you can take your hand off there because that's magnet magnetized so that'll stick against the van so when you flip it up it'll stick against the van and then your macerating hose so this can be your gray and black tank but it's gonna be a macerating pump so if you need to use that macerator pump after you get it hooked up you come over here to where everything we have is enclosed so all of our water features so city water connection, black tank flush, your hot and cold water. So if you do want to hook up for a shower or something like that, and then when you want to use your macerating pump, you just hit this button. So all you have to do is hook it up, your stinky slinky's ready to go, and then you hit this macerating pump, and, and then- you good to go. Yep, you run away with it. So before we go inside, I just want to show you the specs. We'll also put the link down below to the Coachman website. You can see all these specs. One thing that's nice about this is no cassette toilet. And if you watched our videos when we took a van out, I had a problem with the cassette toilet. I am not a fan of a cassette toilet. This is plumbed, and we're going to show you everything inside. One other thing I noticed before we go inside, you guys took a little extra time, put a nice chrome tip on the exhaust. I love it. Let's go inside. You're going to see more attention to detail on the inside. Little things. Ah, so it makes a difference. So fiberglass running board step into the van. This is a power door, so you're not going to yank on it. It's just going to be a one pull. You'll hear it engage. Just let it go back. You guys are the first people to see this interior. So this is our brand new white and copper interior, new vinyl flooring. Everything in here you're going to see is new. We've had three dealers come through. It's been we've had great reviews so far. If you guys want to hop in there, I'll follow you in. <laughs> This is beautiful inside, really nice. On par with some of the nicest ones we've seen out there. So what are some of the features of this new Mercedes chassis and what do you guys do to make it your own? So every single Mercedes chassis we bring in, it's completely loaded up. So you're gonna have all your driving features here in the steering wheel. You're gonna have your M-Bucks. M-Bucks is gonna be like your Hey Siri. So you get in your phone and go, Hey Siri, take me to the nearest gas station. You can say that to M-Bucks and they'll take you to the nearest gas station. You'll be able to hook up to Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. You have cruise control, adaptive cruise control assistance, anything that you could think of while you're driving and you want the comfort out of a Mercedes, you're getting on this. We also have three different settings on here. So you can see I'm sitting around, I'm facing towards you, I'm not facing towards the front of the van. So we, have, we provide swivel seats in every single one of our galleries. And what we do is what we tell people, there's three different settings here. So you got one, one's gonna be for your driver or whoever's sitting here primarily. Two is gonna be for whoever sits here secondary. And then third is gonna be your third setting. That's how you're gonna get your swivel seats turned around. So then you can set that three, you don't have to mess with anything and you can just swivel these seats a lot easier. And then we provide a swivel table mount here. So we mount this table to the, to the floor and then you have the, sw the 360 swivel here. So if you guys wanna swivel this seat around and you wanna share dinner right here, or if you wanna swivel it and you just have here, you can do computer work, you can eat. Uh, it gives you separate space. It gives you more space in here to entertain. One of the things Izzy pointed out was our big fridge. So it's a 7.3 cube uh, Nova Cool fridge and freezer. It's a dual compressor fridge and freezer. So up top, you have a knob to set the temperature for your refrigerator. And down here is your freezer locked in. So you just do a little flip lock here and that's what keeps it from coming out while you're going down the road. And then you can do a dual compressor. Your dual compressor gives you a knob to set the freezer temperature down here. So you don't have to have all your food set at the same temperature. What I like about this also, if you ever have a problem with your refrigerator, which we've had to change our refrigerator three times in our motorhome, this is easy to get out. This is a DIY. This is not like you're taking it, taking windshields out, slides out, very simple. Yeah. And then you have storage up above there. So this is actually where your control panel's oh, at. Control. So when you come into your coach, it's gonna be very easy to use. Everything's right here. It's all gonna be in one spot. So your battery disconnect on and off. We actually pulled the awning out of Fly Firefly and we have an awning disconnect here. And then the Gerard system is right here above the door. So easy. So your awning lights in and out, you can stop it from coming in and out from right here. So you can hear that coming out. That's the Gerard on it. And I love this too. That's part of that screen that I was talking about, talking about in the back. So if you do want to enjoy a day like this and you don't want to turn your AC on, but you want to turn on your max air fan, don't want to let any bugs or anything in, it's easy. 
It's just on one track system, slide in, slide out. So up here, you're gonna have your Xantrex controller. In this coach, because it does have the AGM battery and the uh, 2.8 kilowatt propane generator, it's gonna have a 2000 watt inverter. So that's all controlled and viewed from up here. Down here is gonna have your polar package. So you have an option on Galleria to have a polar package. Our water lines on Galleria, just because of the way it's designed, hangs out about an inch below the van. So what we do is we take those water lines and we wrap them in a heated wire. You can turn them on from here and then your fresh tank is outside and your gray tank is also has a heater. So there's heated blankets on there. Your black tank is gonna be inside. So it's gonna be inside the bathroom. When we open this door, you're gonna notice how big they are. This is the biggest bathroom door opening in the B van industry. If you see that little step up there, that little raised area where the porcelain toilet sits on. So it's not a plastic toilet, it's a porcelain toilet, but it's sitting on top of the black tank. So your kitchen's gonna be all solid surface countertops. That's across the board. Some of the things that we do differently. So we pull this drawer opening. You're going to see English dovetail oh, construction. You don't see that often. You're not nope. seeing that at all no. anymore. So that's something you're going to see in a really high-end product. So when you're looking for the best bang for your buck, you want something you can use all the time. This is going to have a very, very low warranty issue, so you'll always be able to use this because it's just well-constructed. It's not stapled and glued. The bottom of the drawer is all, they're all slotted. So there's a dough to cut in there where you can slide that piece of, that bottom piece of wood in there. We always provide a trash can drawer. One of those little things that we think of. Think of the little things, you know, we're taking care of the big things. So as we're walking through here, you can see I'm, I'm about six foot, six one. Side to side, I have a ton of space. One of the things that when you're walking into a B van, it gets pretty claustrophobic pretty quick. We have the most space in the aisle and up top than any other B van out there. We do a flat panel cabinetry, but we still provide all the same space up here. So it's a 23 inch opening and 11 inches back. So you're getting all the same space as you would in another B van, just with a little more space up top because of these flat panels. Talking about space up here in this 24FL, it's a great couples coach. Look at the pantry and wardrobe area. You have a ton of space. You have a pull-out drawer down there, three different shelving areas, a convection microwave up top, two burner induction stove over here. As we move towards the back of the coach, you're gonna see a 24 inch 12 volt TV that flips out oh, and flip nice. all the way around. So if you do have those seats swiveled up front, you can watch TV up from up front or you can watch TV back here. It has a full arm mount that swivels. So you're probably wondering where you're gonna sleep back here. We provide an electronic bed just with a rocker switch that's right above this 24 inch TV. And then we have two table pop top pieces up front that are mounted right behind the driver's seat that fit in between here. So you can take this couch and you can slide it out and it turns into a full that's RV a nice queen bed. bed. So in here on a hot day, you are going to cool the coach down with a Truma Aventa AC. It's a 13.5 KAC, built in Germany, incredibly high quality, great customer service. We also do a Truma Combi uh, water heater and furnace. So it's a combination water heater and furnace. If you ever need to access it, it's just underneath here. It'll have a 2.6 gallon water heater and then the heat you can uh, power it by 110 or through propane. Yeah, we have a Truma. We've talked about it on our videos. We've had ours now for six years. We have the AquaGo. There's like no maintenance. All I do, decalcify once a year. That's it. That thing has been flawless. In the kitchen, along with the solid surface countertops, you're gonna get a big, deep round sink with a pull-out sprayer faucet, two burner induction cooktop paired with that uh, convection microwave. And I like that we have like a little spice rack area too. To yeah. Have a little storage. A little spice rack in case somebody wants to put something back here while you're going down the road. Again, you can put your plates over top. Very informative. Thank you, Josh. That's why we had you do it because we are not really in the class B's. We're not very familiar with them, but you are obviously an expert on this. Everyone's going to know what the price is, what should they expect? MSRP, the show price, just be specific that it's only at the show price. Yeah, so MSRP, you're gonna be right around 216. Show price, we're getting down dirty, we're getting aggressive. Fretz has this listed at 156 this weekend. So 156, nine. If you don't make it to the show, of course, there's always negotiation, right, from the MSRP whatever dealership you go to, but kind of gives you an idea where somebody's gonna be at. If you are interested in something like this, very competitive to the other high-end Class Bs out there, this is this is really nice. Like I was telling MJ, you know, we did a trip in a Class B, I'm like, oh, I don't know about this, but I, I think this one we would- this is, this is very spacious. The cassette was, that turned yeah. me off. So none of our vans, so Nova, or beyond, they all have black tank to it and porcelain good. toilets. That's a really good thing to know. We're gonna put the link to the Coachman Gallery down below. If you want more information, you can contact Fretz RV. Of course, you can always contact Coachman. They'd be more than willing to answer any of your questions. In the comments below, guys, let us know, what do you think about this unit? What do you think about Class Bs in general? Is that your thing or not? We want your feedback. 
I said, we said another video we did for you guys. You learn as a manufacturer from people's feedback. So that's why we want your information, your feedback here. If you like videos like this, to the left of us, we'll put our RV tourist playlist, we'll put our RV vlogs playlist. And for myself, MJ and Josh, it's a journey of a lifetime. We'll see you on the road. Thanks, guys. Thank you.